Hey, hey. Uh, I'm going to post uh, more updates soon uh, about, you know, web stuff. But um, today I wanted to... Um, I wanted to share that I've ordered, not one, but two, 8800 GTs, specifically um, a super overclocked or whatever version by EVGA. Um, I currently have an EVGA 7900 GT, but I only have one, and by the time I could afford a second one, because I was just coming out of college, um, they were gone. They were, they were gone. So, <laughs> so much for buy one now, get the other later. So anyway, um, so my main interest is is how um, the cards will perform on Oblivion. I know it's not DirectX 10, um, but I've really been holding off on playing uh, Oblivion. Uh, I don't have a zillion games, but if you guys want, um, make a request, and I'll be happy to test out um, both in single card and SLI mode. Uh, the frames per second. I don't have a massive screen, but I'll be happy to do you know between 800 and 600 to all the way up to uh, 1280 by uh, 1024, which is what my screen does. Uh, and uh, I know a lot of you uh, would rather uh, wait for benchmarks and whatnot. I don't have any DirectX 10 games. I do have Bioshock. What else do I have? Yeah, Heroes. Five. <laughs> Not that I've been playing that. Uh, Oblivion. I don't really have that that many games that are. Uh, oh, um, the EVGA version comes with uh, Quake. Some new Quake game. I'm I'm not big on shooters, and I usually get my ass kicked. But eh. so, but um, I'll be happy to post uh, what results I have. Maybe I don't have something else. Uh, um, don't bother asking me to, you know, record World of Warcraft because, dude, I easily get, like, the maximum frame rate, which is the monitor refresh rate, um, my 7900 GT. I'm mostly interested in SLI benchmarks. Um, so, uh, to recap, this is, it's based on G92, it's a 65 nanometer, um, uh, die or whatever. It's got 512 megs. It's got a a very respectable 256-bit memory interface. It was rumored to be about 230, 240, and it ended up being on Newegg for like 280. But because it was on Newegg, I bought it. <laughs> um, so um, I'm getting it Wednesday. Uh, so I gotta wait for UPS, which usually arrives after FedEx, comparatively. Um, not that I in particularly fond of either one, but that's what we get on Newegg. Well, the card's not even listed, at, well, deactivated or whatever. Um, and I, I really have not heard or seen anything on NVIDIA, on their website, about it. Uh, EVGA listed the, the cards. They have four versions of it, and they're all overpriced, which was why I was hoping Newegg would list them lower price, but I assume because it was a, a rush, Plus, I have money right now, so I want to spend the money while I had it. Um, it was like the last major upgrade for my computer, and I'm happy. Opteron 185, socket 939, 2 gigs of RAM. No virtual memory, because my system's built and operates correctly. Uh, RAID 1, 120 gig, Seagate's of course. And my D drive is RAID 1, 320 gig with uh, all the RAID, both RAID 1s are on a RAID rocket. 2300, which is a high point card, uh, kick some uh, major butt there. EV VGA SLI 16x motherboard, socket 939 again. Um, Creative Sound Blaster Audigy 2ZS, I'm running XP Pro. Um, and uh, I got a 500 watt power supply, which I think you might be interested in seeing here. Tells me how many watts I'm using. Isn't that nice? And that's uh, currently the 7900 GT. So anyway, um, feel free to make requests. Um, my goal is to play Oblivion at at least 1024, 768, with everything turned way the hell up, as in maximized. Um, 
I'll be happy if I can play everything with everything but most of the shadow effects. But if I can play with the shadow effects, that'd be great. 1280 by 1024? Maybe. Uh, as long as I get at least 30 frames a second, I'll be happy. So anyway, we'll see. I'll post Wednesday.